Hello everyone. So it's the 16th of May 2023. I'm on the ferry over to our neighboring island here on Canada's west coast because a couple who own a property over there um, phoned me the other night and said they've got noises in the ceiling and they believe it's rats. The noises have been there for quite a long time, all winter long, and they don't want to go up into the attic to deal with the rats and it sounds like they wouldn't have a clue how to deal with the rats. So they phoned me to come over and deal with the rat problem in the attic. And it sounds like this is a long term, been going on for quite a while. So it's going to be interesting to see how many rats we get and see how much damage the rats have done in the attic and uh, to try and find out how they're getting in there. So in my car with me, I've got everything. I've got my rat poop vacuum, I've got extension cables, I've got exclusion materials, stapler, wire mesh, foam, cans of spray foam, traps galore, poison, poison boxes, um, sanitizing liquid, masks. I think I've got everything covered. So I'm going to go over there and I've only got a day over there to do it and then I'll have to assess, assess these people. Are they going to be able to check the traps effectively or will I have to return in a few days? It's an hour long trip on the ferry to get over there. Am I going to have to return in a few days to check the traps for them? And monitor the situation so this is a new customer I've never met them I don't I've never been to their property before but they were referred to me from another customer that I've had over here he was obviously happy with my work and so um, now I've got a new customer and a rat infestation in the attic uh, and this this house has I think she said they've got two cats which constantly are catching rodents around the property. But in this case, which is typical, the rats seem to have got past the cats and up into the attic where they're perfectly safe because the cats do not have access to the attic. So, and this often happens where the rat gets into the house, into the walls, into the attic, even into the basement, but up high in the ceiling. And the rat soon learns that there's a cat around, and the rats soon learn to stay up high, stay out of the cat's range. And I've seen this time and again, where the house has been full of rats, yet there's a good hunting cat in that house. And the rats very quickly adapt to living in the safe spaces within the house. So you've got to move your traps into those spaces, and uh, you'll get them eventually but you've got to find the zone where the rats are living in. In this case it's going to be the attic because apparently the cats do have access to the crawl space under the house. So obviously these rats got in quickly under the house, went up into the attic before the cats could catch them and, um, <clears throat> and they've been up there all winter and we're in May now into spring so and this is the breeding season so I wouldn't be surprised if we get a family of young ones up there plus a couple of adults, maybe even two families of rats up in the attic. So I've got a whole heap of traps with me. We're going to blitz them. Blitz them good. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And don't forget my book, The Rat Trapper's Handbook, available only from Amazon. Good trapping, everyone.